Well, it's a big night for a young player to go and perform in the big stage. You know, I think this is where you see where young players are at in their career. Can they cope with the atmosphere? But more importantly, can they cope with the ball? And the big nights, you want people who can take the ball under pressure and can make things happen. Big question marks over Lee tonight. We are almost set to go. Rangers have emerged to Lee Wallace, Keith Lasley, the captains there. Let's get over to our match commentators, Gary McAllister and Derek Ray. Thank you very much, Darrell. Good evening, everyone. Under pressure, there's no getting away from it. You can almost feel the tension biting. Will Rangers and Motherwell swap divisions, or are they destined to stay where they are now? The combatants about to stride into the arena and into a considerable wall of noise. Bedlam at Ibrox, a packed house. Remaining calm is all part of the challenge. As a person of wisdom once said, fear cuts deeper than swords. Rangers have reverted to the side that beat Hibbs 2-0 in the home leg of the playoff semi-final. Goals from Nicky Clark and Kenny Miller in that game. Darren McGregor plays, although he'll miss the return match through suspension. Lee McCulloch drops to the bench this evening. Shane Ferguson, who has yet to appear for the Rangers' first team, is also available in reserve. Motherwell made nine changes for Saturday's goalless draw with Pontic Thistle. It's nine switches again. Only Lewis Lang and Lionel Ainsworth keep their places in their starting lineup. Lee Irwin and Scott McDonald have nine goals in their last 18 matches between them. Top scorer John Sutton could feature later. A Rangers goal 4 4 2. And that familiar midfield diamond. Lutzkitz just in behind in the front two of Mullen and Clark. The Muddle have to stop the influential Lee Wallace getting forward from that left back area. Muddle slightly different, they'll go 4 4 1 1. I think they'll lean on the experience right through the spine of the side McManus, Pearson, Lasley, and Scott McDonald. Stuart McCall knows to complete the task assigned to him, he must relegate the club he guided to second place in the Premiership two years running. Oh, Kenny Miller, highly influential in the home leg against Tavernier, and it was a beautifully taken second goal. Scott McDonald knows where the goal is too. The Aussie, we expect, will line up just behind Lee Irwin. It's a blustery oh, night. It's a real opportunity. Mickey Law to deliver. Curve that one in. It was almost going that little bit wide. Jack Lucas. A minimum of fuss. Rangers have him under contract until 2017, Andy Murdoch. Here's Kenny Miller. He's able to lose Stephen Pearson. Still Kenny Miller! Inches away. All his own work. No, it's clever play with the experienced strike. A little, little turn. Then cuts inside with a little nutmeg, eliminating two midfielders. He tries to go for the fast bend. I think Long's got it covered. This threatened the goal. Just outside the post, loads of bend on it. Here's the view. Starts outside the post. That's a good yard away, I think Long had it. 39 unbeaten in all against the Lanarkshire side. And all the stats go with Rangers. And Shields. Foster doing the probing, he wasn't picked up, but it's just really disappointing. However, it won't come out to Nicky Law, it does. He gave it a thumb to George Long, doing his job. Offside anyway, flag is up. Yes. Not quite the pass he was looking for. Marvin Johnson. Another well on deadline day. Last transfer window from Kidderminster Harriers. It's delayed before passing. Lastly, here is Josh Law for Motherwell. Interesting ball, Lee Irwin. Headway again through Foster. Defenders backing off. Goes away in the nick of time by McManus. Josh Law.
Here we go, Lee Owen. Ainsworth makes the darting run into the box. Owen, and it's deflected in! Motherwell strike first! Owen had a go! There was a touch, I think, on its way in. Motherwell hit the front in the playoff final. Well, that was the little they were looking for offside there. Rain just tried to step up, and it's Irwin versus Zal Lucas in the wide area. And it takes a horrible deflection of off McGregor. He sticks his left leg out, and it takes it past Bell. The Rangers were just looking for that one. McGregor has joined the throng. And it's Luke Gage. And McGregor, Sears was in there. Oh, Nicky Clark. Not to be, though. Forest of bodies in front of George Long. Yeah, it's a header from the middle of the goal. It's a good save. Still today. It is Scott McDonald. Ainsworth well, against the left foot of Johnson. The snap header. It's another one. Stephen McManus. Two. Rangers come unstuck at the set piece. The surge of the Steel Men in the first leg of the playoff final. Well, Marvin Johnson just looking to put into an area. It's a lovely whipped in ball. McManus, who's capable of getting a goal, it's a lovely glancing header. And Cammy Bell has no chance. And Steve McManus will enjoy that one. Superb glancing header. Final checks made by referee Bobby Madden. And away they go. Well, they were under a bit of early strain, Motherwell, but they grew right into this contest. A mature performance. Rangers know they've got to get themselves back into this and quickly. Lee Wallace. Kenny Miller. There's young Andy Murdoch. with plenty of freedom, Kenny Miller by the look of things, to Foster, shoulder to shoulder there with Marvin Johnson. Yeah, good strength, Marvin Johnson. There's Nicky Law. Foster. And Marius Janiukas. Wallace on the left, Shields, Wallace, a bit untidy. Shields getting it back, now Murdoch. Well, they've got that block in place. Defended pretty stoutly, towards Long, on the ball on a couple of occasions, and Stephen Pearson. Shields with the despairing challenge. Irwin takes over. It's Edgeworth! Motherwell steal! It cuts through Rangers again! Three for Motherwell! Lethal! Oh, this is absolutely blistering here. A good interception by Pearson. Inside that final third, and then they just burst forward with great pace. And look at the movement here. No, no, the ball doesn't stay still. There's great movement, angled movement, and the finish is top, top draw. That you won't see a better goal in this. Going from defence to attack in an instant. And the movement and the finish, classy. Wonderful flow. A significant lead to carry with them to Fur Park. Well, it's going completely the other way. Well, at the moment, appear to be a very good bet to preserve their top-flight status. Kenny Miller. Lastly. He's going to throw his Vuckic, has a bit of space, and his Vuckic! George Long up to the task. Well, we'll just take the eye off the ball, nearly get caught. Clark and Vujkic inside the six-yard box. Nicky Law 
Johnny Ukas competing for the ball, back in by Shields. And it bubbles around, a shot for handball. Nothing there, says Bobby Madden. Butchkic had the chance earlier. Yeah, Motherwell just went to sleep. It's a quick throw in to Butchkic. Stays nice and big. Good stop. Six points better off than last place, St Mirren. McDonald. Pearson. For McDonald. Ainsworth. McDonald. You call a professional foul. Exactly what he was doing. He had to stop Kenny Miller. Mickey Law floats it in, George Long is often punch happy as goalkeepers go. Now, striding forward, Marvin Johnson. It's Lee Irwin, looking to run to his right. Checking play by Johnson. Down goes Nicky Law. Johnson! Right across the face of goal! Oh, it scored it! Lionel Ainsworth. Goal at his mercy. Well, again, this is what separates the two sides. It's just the pace of Motherwell's attack and the quality. Puts Nicky Law in the deck, he whips it across the six yard box. Oh, what a chance for Ainsworth. So they've attacked with such ball. pace, it's and it's the quality at the end of it as well. Whipped across that six yard box. The goal at his mercy. He can't keep it down. This is really went after Nicky Law every time he receives possession. Really snapped into the challenge. Walsh. Foster. Oh, it's one of the best balls of the night! And Chris Boyd thought that was going in, but then there was George Long. The beautiful lofted ball up to the back post by Foster. Boyd just times his run against Lang. It's a great, great save from, from Long here. Powers the head up, and it's, it saves him his forehead. Impro so we'll have to. A wrap for him. Simon Ramsden, though, has been given the green light to come on. Here it comes from Law this time. McGregor will just pull one back. They're on the score sheet. Darren McGregor. And it changes the Ibrox atmosphere. It's the play of the year that gets them back in it. And those Rangers fans will start to come back into the stadium. He rises well and punches the header in. Gets between two defenders. Well, he rises really well, gets above McManus since he arrived on the pitch. He's been effective on that left-hand side. He's had plenty of crosses into the box. Now Vuchkic. Going one way, then the other. Harris Vuchkic. Oh, and it's so nearly an own goal. Stephen McManus. He held his breath. Wasn't sure. Chris Boyd. Oh, it's up on the shoulder. Free kick to Rangers, still playing. But not anymore. It's advantage Motherwell going into the return leg. Lionel Ainsworth scored the third goal early in the second half after Lee Irwin and Stephen McManus had made it 2-0 to the Steel Men at the break. There is still a bit of hope for Rangers thanks to Darren McGregor. And his late goal, it puts a better complexion on it from the Rangers' point of view. But Motherwell, make no mistake, are going to be very difficult to beat by the margin that Rangers require on Sunday. The final score in the first leg of this Premiership playoff final is Rangers 1, Motherwell 3.